Hello, everybody. I just want to share something that is burning in my heart this afternoon. Uh, it's just wonderful to serve God. You know, the, the greatest privilege is to serve God and, and just to, you know, God, God doesn't look for experts or people that are, that are, uh, that, that are uh, very intelligent. He, he just looks for willing hearts. And then, uh, and, and he enables this, the sent ones, the people that are, that are willing to go for him. He enables them and gives them everything they need. Uh, and it's so awesome to serve the living God. I, I am so excited, so excited uh, to serve him and, uh, and, to, and, to, and to be able to preach to huge crowds of people. You know, I, uh, I, I remember seeing a vision as a little boy of... Uh, big crowds of people and I was uh, uh, preaching the gospel to them and, and it just seemed, whoa, this is this can never happen. Uh, but it has happened and God made that come true many, many times. And I've stood before uh, tens of thousands of people uh, just sharing the gospel, the simple gospel of Jesus Christ and, and then seeing how that gospel uh, just transforms people and changes their lives. It is, it, it's addictive, I tell you. It's just when you see broken lives transformed, people changed forever. They're never the same again. Uh, it, it just, you just stand there and you just think, oh, oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, when you see demon possessed people that have been so bound, all of a sudden set free by the power of God, uh, you just stand there in awe and you just say, God, you're so good. You know, when you see people that are, that have been lame for, for, for 20 years, could, could not walk, would, were, were, had to be taken care of. And then the power of God comes over them and they stand up and they're completely healed by the power of God or cancer just disappearing out of people's uh, bodies. Uh, it just is so exciting. You know, the gospel is still the power of God unto salvation and it works. I see every time I go, it doesn't matter where in the world I'm preaching, whether it's in North America, whether it's in Europe, or whether it's in Africa, wherever I've been, when, I, when you preach the simple gospel, it happens, and it works, and it transforms lives as, as it did my own life. So I, I'm excited about Jesus and about uh, what he's doing. And uh, I, I just want to share a little bit about some of the things that have been taking place. You know, we have been gearing up for four major crusades or, or uh, events, uh, outreach events that are going to be taking place just, just between now and, and, and the beginning of December. And uh, two of them are, uh, are, two will be in Ethiopia. In fact, uh, very, next week I'll be in Ethiopia. And, and, and then uh, the third week of, of October, I'll be in Ethiopia again. And, and then the first week of November, uh, we will be in Puerto Rico, preaching the gospel in Puerto Rico. And I am so excited about what God is, is going to do. There's going to be a huge harvest coming from these, these meetings. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, I, it's like you're, you're, a, you're a little kid in a, in a sand box. I mean, it's just you're so excited about serving God. The best thing that can happen is to serve the living God because uh, you just, your purpose, the purpose of your life uh, just comes, you know, you, you, you sense you're in that niche where what you were born to do, you're doing what, God, what, what you were born to do. And there is truly nothing better than that. But I want to tell you a little bit about Puerto Rico and about the, the, the miracles that have already happened at, at this event. And uh, just to give you a little bit of a backdrop, uh, Vega Baja, where we're going to do this uh, um, uh, uh, campaign in, in the beginning of November, uh, Vega Baja is a very well-known town in Puerto Rico. Now, I'm telling you things that I have been told because I, I don't come from Puerto Rico. I, I just love Puerto Rico and God has given me an assignment there. But um, in, in the 90s, uh, in the Plaza of Vega Baja, they had uh, an, a, a, a huge event. And this was an event put on uh, by a, a worldly 
uh, world, very worldly people. And uh, this event was extremely evil. It, it brought a lot of people from all over Puerto Rico were coming to Vega Baja for, for this event. There was, it was like a rock concert and, and, uh, and it, I'm told it was just like Woodstock where people were just uh, uh, out of control sexually. They were out of control with drugs. And after that event, Vega Baja, spiraled into uh, like a, a, it, there was no more control over over the city and what happened is is that plaza which is the center of the town where people l love to come you know and just just be that you can hang out in that in that center every every uh, town in Puerto Rico is built up this way with a beautiful plaza in the middle of the town on the one side you have the Catholic Church and on the other side you have town hall and that's basically, and, and it's huge. It's a big plaza. A lot of people can be there. Um, but basically what happened is that for 20 years, nobody could do any event in the plaza anymore. The city forbid any event to take place in that plaza because there were so many, so much murder going on, so many people being killed in that plaza. It had been taken over and it was... Uh, you could not safely do anything there anymore, and uh, and uh, it was it was a, a very tough thing, you know. And uh, just in fact, it was totally closed down, shut down, until about four years ago. And uh, about four years ago is when they began to try again to to have some events. But imagine uh, uh, at the center of the town, shut down because it was no longer safe. And I, I, I talked to a, a lady that, was, uh, that grew up in Vega Baja. In fact, it's uh, um, Elsa that has been helping us a lot. And, and she told me that, uh, in that in, uh, she grew up close to, to the plaza. And she said constantly as they were growing up, you could hear gunshots in that plaza. And you knew people had just died again. People were, were just killed off, just, just, just shot to death there in that plaza. And, and right now, you, imagine this. For 20 years, that place is shut down. And now it has opened up again. And the, and, and the, the city officials are, are welcoming us. They are excited about us coming to do a Christian event there in that in that plaza where uh, the gospel will be preached where we will uh, uh, people will be delivered people will be healed of their sickness where where God is going to move in a mighty way you know they they are excited about it and the reason of course they're excited because uh, because you know it, it, it when you when you let the devil have his way you know uh, he he shuts things down and 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 so it, it's really exciting uh, exciting what is going on and and um, uh, the city of Vega Baja has been so good to us. Uh, I just want to just share a little bit of, of what what they have done. They they are letting us use the plaza just as uh, free of charge. Now, just to put that in perspective, when we had our light fest here in 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 the city of Sanford, where 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 I live. Um, uh, we, we had to pay $5,000 for the use of, of the premises and for security, for everything. The city bill was huge. Uh, they, they, uh, and, and every event that we've had, we've had to pay big time money for, for the event. Well, the one time it was about $6,000. I think last time it was about $4,000. But just, just to give you an idea, this, this and, 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 and this city, is 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 giving us that venue and not charging us for it, uh, man. I I have hardly ever had that in Africa, and in Africa we have so much favor. Every, uh, almost every venue we we go into we have to pay for, and, and so you know it's it's just God's favor has been all over this event, and. Uh, uh, 
The city is providing security. They're providing a, a bus service to make, peop, make sure people can come safely from their, from their different uh, neighborhoods to, to, the, um, to the, the, the plaza itself. And, and, and you know, the, they, are, they are bending over backwards to make this thing happen. And I, when, I, when I share this, I, I just want to say, you know, uh, a, a, a political leaders that have a heart like that will be blessed by God. You know, God, God that doesn't just go past God. Uh, God will bless that city. And you will see the favor of God on the city of Vega Baja because of what they are doing. Uh, it is incredible. And, um, and I, I just want to say, you know, um, we have seen God's hand in every way. The, the, the churches of the town, we have uh, like 50 churches that are working together with us. And they have been so good. They've been even asking, how can we help? How can we help? Uh, and, and we know it's in our heart. We want to come and help them. We, we, we don't want to take money from them. Uh, we, we don't, we don't want to come in, and, 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 but we want to come in with a giving spirit, you know, give to, to bless the, the country of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has gone through enough in the last year. After this, the Hurricane Maria went through and people, so many people lost their houses. So many people lost everything they had. Uh, they lost their loved ones. Uh, so many uh, died in the aftermath of, of, of Hurricane Maria. And, uh, and, and you know, it's, it, there's been so much heartache. But the Bible says, uh, um, a grieving may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And I believe this is the morning for, for, uh, for Puerto Rico. I believe God is going to raise up new, peop new leaders out of Puerto Rico. You know, Puerto Rico has brought forth some incredible men uh, 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 and women of God. If you look at what has happened through, through Puerto Rico, I just want to mention one. There's Yiye Avila. He was a powerful evangelist that God raised up out of Puerto Rico and God used him. He went all over South America. And you know, uh, uh, Ye Ye was, was a, a very humble man. He, he, even when he got, uh, a, millions were going through his accounts because he was, he was doing so many campaigns all over the place. He still lived in his humble home. He didn't buy himself a huge mansion. He just stayed humble and he just followed his, his God. But that man shook South America with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you know, it, it took one person to come and to tell him the gospel. Somebody came and told Ye Ye that Jesus loves him and told him the, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that man understood it and took the gospel and went and shook all of South America with the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's, he's now with Jesus and he, a, a, a wonderful man of God. But I believe that God is, is raising up men and women out of Puerto Rico again. And that's one of the biggest reasons I'm going there. I, I want to see the, the, the unsaved people saved. I want to see lost people saved. I want to see the broken transformed. I want to see people set free through the power of, of, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I also know that there will be people, the young people that are there right now, that right now don't know Jesus Christ, that are going to get saved that are going to be world shakers. They're going to go out and they're going to shake this, this generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you know, that's what moves me. That's what moves me. And I want to just say this. You know, we've been talking about the budget for, for this uh, uh, Vega Baja trip. And I, I, I just want to say this. Listen, God is going to provide for this thing. This is His business. And He's going to provide. But I just, today... If you want to have a part in this, if you want to have a, 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 a stake in the thing, you know, it's just like if, you, if, if there's an investment, if you don't put your money into the investment, you won't get anything out of it. But if you want to say, I want to have part of the reward of what God is going to do there, then I, I encourage you just to, to uh, uh, there's a link right on this video. Just click that link. Go in there and sow a seed. 
to make a difference in, in Vega Baja. We want to bless those people. And we, we, I see many people rising up, coming out of, out of Vega Baja, young men and young women that are going to shape this generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I see young, young people raising up. I see Puerto Rico rising up again. The, uh, the beautiful island of Puerto Rico coming out of devastation. And shining again the way God wants it to. You know, God did mighty things through, through uh, Evangelist Yee but uh, back in the 70s and in the 80s. Man, it's not over. Uh, we, we see God moving again in, in, uh, in Puerto Rico. I see God shaking the island again, bringing people unto repentance and pe- bringing people unto the true knowledge of Jesus Christ. And God working in a mighty way. So if you're excited about what God is doing, don't just, uh, uh, don't just let things go past you. But be, become a part of this. Let, your, let there be seeds sown. You know, the guy, I have a, a, I have a, a, a German fellow, that, a sound technician, that often uh, volunteers his time, uh, volunteers his money, has often bought tickets himself. And, uh, and, and he comes with me to Ethiopia almost every crusade that I do in Ethiopia. And, and I asked him one time, I said, Chris, uh, or Marcus, why, why do you do it? Why, you know, why do you, why do you spend all this money and, and, and not, you know, take off work and not get paid during that time to, 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 uh, to do this? And he, and he said to me, he said, Chris, you know, I can't preach, but you're the preacher. And by coming and supporting you, I'm getting part of, I'm getting, I'm sharing in that reward. He said, when I get to heaven, I don't want to have a little shack in heaven. I want to have a nice place in heaven. And I want, I want treasures in heaven. And so that's why I, I come and I, and I do this because I don't want to just have a little shack up there. And so uh, I just want to encourage you. If, if God is speaking to your heart, do it right now. Because this is about souls. This is about people. Uh, and this is a, about the kingdom of God being built in our generation. Have a stake in it. And the Lord will richly bless you. If you do, uh, if you need, if you want to, just click on the link right now or, or, uh, on this video and uh, sow a seed uh, into, this, into this thing. I just want to make one thing clear. Uh, I'm not. I, I, I'm not asking people to to give towards this thing because God is the provider and He is going to provide. It's just, do you want to have a part in it? That's all this is about. And no pressure, but may the Lord richly bless you. Please pray for us for a mighty harvest. God bless you.